hello everyone welcome back so today we are going to install football lightings for my car so this is a Nissan uh, Tiena J31 or you can call it Nissan Zephyro Nissan Maxima all are quite same uh, <coughs> these football lightings are most common nowadays so I got this you know pack from online and you know this is just a plug and play system you know, rather than getting um, new wiring systems through the batteries and all this is much more safe and convenient to use as well so you can do it yourself and it works fine so it has much more options than just you know connecting some lights like you can make this react to your music uh, and it would display several colors it has a remote control a lot of stuff I'll show you how everything works after installation and for this project you need some Pi tools and a microfiber towel also some soapy water to clean the surface where you're going to install the light because it's being uh, pasted on the surface so if it's not clean it would not uh, have a good bond so the installation process is pretty simple uh, the power source of this light system is through the adapter right here so this is a normal 12 volt car charger so I bought these uh, two ports so one port I can charge my phone or, uh, you know, use it for some other thing and the other port I can use it for the uh, footwell lighting so people who don't want to have a car charger or maybe if you have two ports you can straight away get the system with the adapter so I bought it with the USB so plug which would help me to use it like this so that's it with that so the wiring process is pretty simple the wire is going to run under these plastic pieces all the way under there so all four passengers front and rear so the lights would be fitted under the uh, glove box and in here in my case just near the paddles in the rear, under the rear seat, uh, sorry, under the front seats to give lighting to the uh, rear passengers as well. So the process is simple. It will take around, you know, 25-30 minutes. Uh, that's it. So let's see how all these things work. I'll show you guys uh, how this thing works. First of all, so for you to get. So this is the remote where you're gonna control all this. So there's a small, you know, battery separator piece of paper like this I remove that and this is the remote and let's keep it aside so this is the USB the power socket which is connected to um, this what does it do it just regulates the current and you know it detects the music if you are going to set it to react to music and it also uh, accepts the signals from the remote control so we're gonna plug this to the turbo socket there you go so it's currently set on green so I'm gonna change the colors let's see for red for orange we can go with purple with blue with white yeah so how it reacts to music so yeah you can dim the lights as well I will set it to one color you can dim it you can dim it further further there you go it's still working but it's dim you can again increase the brightness so it does a lot of things rather than just connecting a lighting setup and you know working making it work by you know dragging new wires through the circuit the batteries and all this thing is much convenient if you don't want plug it out throw it away it's pretty easy but with um, current users and honest reviews I saw some people have been using this same product for more than a year so I think this would last long uh, hopefully so yeah that's it let's install this and see how it looks like so I'm going to do a day video on installing and light video on how it works in the colors and all so we should make sure that we are gonna place this more module and the sensor 
in a place where it's reachable for the remote signals and that's the only thing you need to be concerned and the four lights so the wiring is pretty much universal it's enough for any car um, I'll tell you about how, how, how it would be for myself so this kind of a medium sized car uh, it's around 4.5 or 7 meters long not pretty sure with that somehow it's medium size so this would work perfect so without further ado let's start things up and uh, I'll show you guys how the process how to install this let's go all right so I found out two stripes the wiring is long two stripes wiring is short so the short two going to the front and the long two going to the rear so I'm just gonna leave it here and I'm going to separate these two wires, one on to the right, one on to the left. There you go. And two on the either sides of the vehicle. So one I'm going to place down there, the other one here. So this is the wiring, so it's kind of messy. Sorry about that. So this thing you need to place somewhere. I'm just going to let it be there for now. But I'm going to just, you know place it neatly somewhere which we need to do so let's fix this first of all we need to clean the surface for that I'm using the microfiber towel and some soapy water surface is clean so we need to peel this uh, uh, protective you know tape like thing to remove the double tape and just place it make sure you place the wire to the place where the wiring is coming so you need so it's easy for you to uh, hide it and as well to conserve the wiring length so I'm just going to fit it right somewhere over here Gum tape is not that sticky, I realize that. Mm. So in case it is not sticky enough, you need to add the double tape by yourself itself. So let's try once more, if it's not going to fit, we need to apply a double tape ourselves. can see the LEDs but from the driver's point of view he won't his point of view is too high so that's ideally all right so just to show you guys the light is spreading everywhere so since it's daytime you won't see the light spreading here so if I off look at this area it's just a little bit dim out there you see the light is spreading it's more on to the right side. It's alright, the pedals are on to the right, so no problem. See, it's lighting 
this area as well. You can see it's coming pretty far. It's a good thing. It's bright enough. So next part is to now we need to add some sort of double tape. It's falling off. So not really panic. Just use your own double tape. Let this thing be. Apply on top of that. So it will be fine. So I, I clean the surface. So if you did not clean the surface, you may encounter this problem. But that's not the case here. I have here double-sided tape. I'm gonna fix this non-sticky problem. So just take the tape. This is too good. And apply. Peel the top and then get rid of the excess. Otherwise, you will have huge dropping, trouble getting off that protective layer. So, let's try again once. This time it should stick properly because I've used this pretty much everywhere I do these projects and it works perfect. Try once more if everything is okay. Yeah, it's good. Lighting is spread evenly. So it does not give a white, it actually gives some sort of ice white, just cool. So guys, what I did was um, let it focus. So guys, what I did was I just removed the glove, stuck it in, so I have a bare metal to deal with. So this would be the spot right here just gonna try things out you can see it right somewhere here if you direct the lighting into where we are so it's still running on the original double tape which will be replaced of course Good to go. Let's only just see whether it eliminates all of this. Let's see the back from here. There we go. So the seat is almost all the way forward. So guys, we have pretty much done with the installation. Now just hiding the wires is left. So this is the passenger side and the driver side. And also you can see the rear passengers as well. So uh, thing came out pretty nice. So I can just wait to check this out at night. So currently it's on white. Here we go to blue, to green to yellow, to orange, to purple, different colors, to red, to blue, once again, so likewise, so it works, alright, so without further ado, let's hide the wires and get things done, so as I told you earlier, we're going to hide the wires under these wires, they are not even stuck hard, just very loose, you just put it under there, not no harm to the rear as well, so it's gonna run all the way through on all this stuff. I actually found this cool spot under this shrimp piece where you can actually uh, keep this uh, box and let the sensor be out. Likewise, wait for it to focus. 
Come on. Yeah, the sensor to come out. And uh, yeah, this wire would go all the way from here to the power source out here. So that's pretty much the plan. So let's get things much more neat and uh, get back to you guys. Hello guys. So the job went pretty well. Not a single vice outside. So you can see everything is inside the two panels. So the, even the music, um, what do you call that uh, box? I placed it inside and um, I'm pretty sure I want to use it with music, but still it works with music. Sorry, the lights went off. So it's kind of dark now. So I just want you all to want to show you guys how the lighting system works. So this is the remote, and here we have the wire which power comes out and it's all the way going into the panel. So nothing behind, nothing here either. I didn't place anything. So everything is in, inside. So it looks almost stock and. Uh, I'm interested. I'm, I'm excited to show you guys uh, how this thing looks like. So front, back, everywhere. So let me start the car, guys. Uh, I'll off the lights so you can get a get much better view. There you go. There we have the lights. I'll show the back in a minute. Is the remote so you can change colors the sensor is placed here you can see it's down there so it works on this distance red green blue actually you see for the camera that the lights are bright it, it, they aren't right they, they look perfect but if it's too bright you can dim them as well so not no big deal there you go. That's off. And that's lightly on. So I prefer something like this. What do? So we have white. We have what's that color? We have yellow, purple, and some some sort of green blue mix. Not the name I can't see the name. So those are the colors you have orange. So I prefer red, blue and white. My favorites. I'll put uh, and maybe one monthly update on the product, how it's going on, uh, any problems with it and all. And also uh, I'll put the link in the description for this product. So uh, I'm satisfied with it except for that uh, taping issue. I didn't have any other problems. The length is perfect. I mean, if the car was another one meter long, I think that's fine enough. More than enough. Uh, what do you call it? Threads? I mean, no, the wires. Sorry. So, let me set it to blue. Show you guys the wire as well. Let's hop out. That's the Nissan logo. Lightings are all LEDs. I retrofitted them. We'll do a video on that as well. Perfect. There you go. Looks real nice. And the most importantly, they look stuck. So there's the front view. Oh, you guys see it. They look stuck. That's the most important thing in my point of view. I just want it to look real nice. Wires are hidden. No wires here and there. Everything's hidden. The job went pretty well, I'm really satisfied with this. And yeah, I recommend you guys to try these things out with your cars. Would would give you a much better experience. So I'm planning to do another video on you know ambient lighting on door panels on the dashboard here and there. And I don't want to make a lot of uh, lighting inside the car, it, it would look really uh, awkward at some point. So just keep it nice and decent. 
so yeah so then guys thank you very much for watching so i'll conclude this video and uh, let's meet them again with another video so if you have any suggestion do that video do this video let me know i'm really happy to do them so yeah so if you like this video please uh, give us your comments and uh, like the video share it with your friends and all so thank you very much for watching have a great day